guys, I am done for the day, man. Getting ready to leave my last stop. As you can see, it is 4.47 a.m. I'm trying to get off these roadways, man. Y'all know it's Inspection City out there. What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. You already know I appreciate your support. Hey, shout out to all my new subscribers. If you just joined the channel, I'm talking like five minutes ago. I appreciate you for rocking with me. If you just joined the channel two minutes ago, or if you just joined the channel right now, you just joined, you just hit that subscribe button, man. Listen, I appreciate you guys. And y'all already know my day ones out there. Much love to all you guys, man. To the whole ATV gang, shout out to y'all. I appreciate the continued support. Now that we got that out the way, man, we got to get into today's video. As you guys seen in the earlier clip, I knocked it out pretty early today. I got started earlier than I normally would start. I started last night about 10, 40, somewhere around there. My whole goal was to just knock the route out as early as possible. My plan was to knock it out before the sunrise, and that's exactly what I did, man. You guys already know I posted a video about it yesterday. The next few days, DLT is gonna be out heavy in the streets doing the inspection. So my plan was to go ahead and knock this route out so I can hopefully avoid all of that, right? But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Look, man, I just wanted to make a video about this because I see this all too often in the comments where somebody is saying, well, and you got a sweet route because you're a senior driver. New drivers, listen up. You don't have to have seniority to have a good route. Let me repeat that. You do not have to have seniority to have a good route. A lot of times it all depends on your timing and it all kind of depends on what the company needs are and what they have available at the time that you are at that employer. It varies from person to person, but there is a possibility that you can have a good route. All routes don't necessarily suck, and you can have a good route in the food service delivery game as a new driver. I need you new drivers to understand that. It isn't mandatory or it isn't a guaranteed thing that just because you're new, you're gonna have a bad route. That isn't always the case. So I need you guys to understand that, all right? I also need all of my new drivers out there, if you have a good route, and when I say a good route, I mean a good route to you, right? You're making good money, whatever that good money is to you, because somebody gonna drop in the comments, well, what is good money, right? And what is a good route? So new drivers, if you feel like you have a good route and you're making good money, I need you to do me a favor and put that strong arm emoji in the comment. I wanna show these guys proof that you can be a new driver and you can have a pretty good route. Also, I need to dispel the misconception that you can't have a two day route if you're a new driver. That is also false. You can be a new driver and still have the opportunity to run a two day route. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, man. I just wanted to make this quick video because I've seen that time and time again in the comments where people say, well, and you are a senior driver. So that's why you have a sweet route. A new person starting is gonna have a crappy route, right? That is not always the case. And I just need all the new CDL food service drivers to understand that, man. That is not always the case. Listen, again, all the new drivers, let me know in the comments. If you're new and you have a good route, drop that strong arm emoji in the comments. Represent for the company that you with. Let me know who you with because people need to see proof. They don't believe what I say. So we need to see proof in the comments. Drop it in the comments if you have a good route and you're new to the food service game, all right? I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, like this video, drop a comment if you got a comment. Oh yeah, just a quick reminder, like I posted yesterday, we have a special guest coming on the channel. My buddy, former OTR driver, now he's back local, doing food service again, but I won't say the company he's working for right now. He has worked for McLean and Cisco. He has a little experience working for different companies. So hey, I got some questions I don't know about y'all, 
But you need to tap in to the interview tomorrow, man, because we're going to have a good conversation. We definitely going to share some value with you guys and a lot of information. I hope you tune in. I'll keep you guys posted. Just stay tapped into the channel. All right. So look, with that being said, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.